Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a deep cleaning for you guys. I'm going to be focusing upstairs this time around. So this is going to be part one of my deep cleaning and then I will have part two which is downstairs for you guys up sometime next week. All right guys, so like I said, this is going to be a deep clean with me and this is going to be focused upstairs. This will be part one of my deep cleaning. So this is also gonna be a two day type of deep cleaning just because I wasn't able to get everything done in one day. But right now I was just taking down my kids 10. So Ryan had a birthday party in March, the first week of March before all the quarantine happened and it was a sleepover. The kids slept in the tent. We kept it up for a really long time just because the kids really loved it and they were playing it in a lot but it was time to finally take that down. So I'm just quickly picking everything up in the loft area so then I can go ahead and start deep cleaning. So I am going to organize all of these papers. So I've been having to print out a lot of stuff for the kids for homeschool. And then my husband has a lot of work stuff that he has to print out. So it was all mixed in together. So I just want to go ahead and quickly organize that. And then I will start with my deep cleaning. Seven waves into the night on the beaches of Hawaii. You guys look really closely at the hamster cage. I just noticed Rocket did come out really quickly. I did not see him when he came out, but his name is Rocket and he is the kid's pet hamster. So now that I have quickly cleaned up the loft area, now I'm gonna go ahead and start wiping down all of the baseboards. So I'm just using a damp microfiber cloth and a multi-purpose cleaner. So I use different things every time I clean my baseboards. Sometimes I will use a vinegar mix and sometimes I will use a bleach and water mix but this time around i decided just to go ahead and use a multi-purpose spray on a damp washcloth and that seemed to do the job as soon as i finished moving my daughter's bed i went ahead and vacuumed back there and i also wiped down the baseboard behind her bed but unfortunately since i filmed from my phone somebody called and i didn't realize it so it stopped recording so i didn't get that part so i do apologize but now i'm in my son's bedroom and i'm just wiping down all of his baseboards as well I'm 
doing the air vents, I went around and looked at all the air vents to see if they needed to be cleaned. And the one out here in front of my kid's bedroom in the bathroom needed to be wiped down. It was super dusty. And then there was an air vent in my bedroom that needed to be cleaned as well. So I went ahead and cleaned it. As you guys can see, it was so dusty. I need to start cleaning them more often so it doesn't get this bad. But I went ahead and wiped that down as well. And then I checked the kids' bedrooms. But the thing is, in each bedroom, there's like two air vents. And I always miss one. So the kids' rooms were good except one in Ryan's room, which I missed. So one was clean. The other one was dirty. And you're going to see in a part two of my deep clean with me I realized that and I went ahead and cleaned it up but now that I am done with that I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum up the upstairs area that is going to end it for this part of the cleaning video just because i don't have time to finish i also want to um wipe down all the windows like clean the windows and then also do like a spot clean to the walls but i just don't have time to do that today but i was able to go ahead and wipe down all the baseboards and a vacuum and clean up this loft area because we still had the tent up from ryan's birthday which was like almost two months ago but the kids really loved the tent so we left it up for them to play in but it was time to take it down so took that down as well and then the only air vents i really had to wipe it down in my bedroom and then one in like the hallway upstairs all the other air vents are pretty clean because i did check them so i cleaned off those um two air vents as well so i'll probably try to finish this tomorrow and tomorrow i will probably go ahead and vacuum the stairs wipe down the entire staircase and then do like a spot cleaning to all the walls and then we'll see if i um do anything else maybe i will also wipe down all of the doors if i have time so this is gonna be part one and then part two i will just go ahead and include um tomorrow once i finish up this deep cleaning so i will see you guys in tomorrow's deep cleaning video all right friends so it is now the following day and i'm gonna go ahead and finish up this deep clean with me so i'm just adding a little bit of warm water with some fabuloso and using a microfiber cloth and i'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the staircase another area that i need to start doing more often just because it gets really dusty and dirty very quickly since it is white you can notice it much more quicker than my old rental house so definitely need to start doing this more often also the kids are always putting their fingerprints on here so all their fingerprints were all over the bars so i definitely needed to go ahead and clean it off and then i'm going to go ahead and vacuum the staircase once i am done wiping everything down and for some reason i don't know why i always forget to vacuum the staircase so i vacuum every single weekend and then i also run my robo back every night and for some reason the staircase just never gets vacuumed i always forget so definitely want to make sure that i went ahead and vacuum the staircase on this day down the street where no hope surrounds you an empty soul so much space to fill the gaps we fall through and do you see what we've become through tears and losing the only one the only one
as I was vacuuming the stairs, I realized I did not wipe down the opposite side of my baseboard on the staircase. So I wanted to go ahead and quickly do that. And then once I am done doing that, then I will start spot cleaning the wall on the staircase. For some reason upstairs, the walls weren't bad at all. I didn't really find any marks other than the staircase. And I think the staircase had the most just because sometimes we bring things up and down the stairs and it scuffs up the wall. And also the kids are always holding onto the wall or the railing when they walk down stairs so I went ahead and cleaned up just a few little spots that were on the wall and now it is time to move on to the windows so I'm just gonna use the same microfiber cloth to wipe down the window seal and then I will go ahead and clean off the window with just a window cleaner and a paper towel To glance down the street where no hope surrounds you An empty soul, so much space to fill the gaps we fall through And do you see what we've become? Through tears and losing the only one The only one Last thing I will be doing in this deep clean with me is cleaning off all of the doors. So I'm using another microfiber cloth and some damp hot water with some Fabuloso and I'm gonna go ahead to all the door frames, wipe all that down as well as the doors. Let me know how often you guys do these type of things like cleaning off your doors, baseboards and windows. I definitely feel like I should do it more often than what I do, especially since a lot of these areas are white you can definitely notice when there's fingerprints or dust on it. So definitely gonna start adding this to my to-do list much more often than what I usually do, but it definitely feels really good to get all this done. I feel like you can definitely tell a difference after I was done. <laughs>
guys so that is going to end my deep cleaning upstairs so today i finished filming i started this video two days ago and then i had to finish today just because i didn't have time the first day i started this to complete it and then yesterday i was going to finish filming this video but the day just got ahead of us and i didn't have time and me and the kids spent a lot of the time outside yesterday went in the pool and stuff so I did not film this yesterday, but I hope you guys found some motivation from today's deep clean with me. I'm going to be doing a deep cleaning downstairs. I don't know when, just because this week is going to be a little busy between Madison's um, therapy sessions, school. I think Ryan's teacher is going to be um, doing like um, house drop bys to drop off the kids stuff that they left in the classroom. So when she comes, I have to pack up like her little gift, we got her little gift. So that's going to be happening this week. We also have a birthday car parade that we're going to be doing for our friend. So a lot of things that we're going to be doing this week. So I think I'll film a deep cleaning downstairs maybe next week. I'm not sure. I'll try to squeeze it in this week, but I'm pretty sure I won't be able to. But that's the next like deep cleaning video I'm going to be doing um, for this week. On Friday, I'll probably either have a laundry routine video or like a laundry motivation video or another organization video. I haven't decided which one I'm going to upload. So it'll either be one of those two, but regardless, I hope you guys are enjoying all of my cleaning and organizing style video. I mentioned in my previous cleaning video, I'm trying to go back to three days a week of upload schedule, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And I'm not uploading at 9 a.m a lot anymore just because the day gets ahead of us and I just don't have time to film, edit, upload, do all that plus school and therapy and everything else that's thrown on top of me. So I'm sorry that I'm not able to get the videos up to you guys at a specific time, but I am going to try my very best to get them up at least Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. If I can, I'll get up in the morning. If not, it'll be later on in the afternoon, but definitely those three days I'm going to be getting up videos for you guys. So it's going to be focused more on cleaning and organizing and then every once in a while i will do a vlog so yeah hope you guys are enjoying that but enough of my talking i'm gonna go ahead and close out this cleaning video if you guys enjoyed it please remember to give my video a thumbs up also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already i would love to have you be a part of my youtube family it would seriously mean the world to me i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye